you, we are beautiful movie lovers. My name is Louis Aiken of Phantom, and today we are talking about the 2023 Goosebumps show that has finally dropped its final episode off this season on Disney+. Plus. And I'm not going to do my usual shtick with this, but anyways, this is based on the horror books by R.L. Stein, and it is, and with it getting two movie movies back a couple of years ago, now we have a full-on series with it, with uh, Justin Long in it, and now with uh, seeing all ten episodes, uh, here are my thoughts on it. Uh, first off, as someone who is a fan off the show, that th th this um, this franchise actually does mean a lot to me. Honestly, the original show in general actually. I, I do really enjoy, even with it, with me and someone else having the dumbest argument ever that makes me look like a complete idiot, but this movie here, the first one, means so much to me, because I was obsessed with this movie. I remember nearly everything about it, I mean... I, I was obsessed with this, and whether or not I like the second movie, they both hold a special place in my heart. So, when um, I heard the announcement for this, I was really curious, and especially when the trailer dropped for this earlier back in summer, I got really curious. And then when the first five episodes dropped on October 13th, I did share my quick thoughts, and I really enjoyed those first five episodes. And now with... Um, all episodes finally dropping on Disney Plus, uh, and now that I have seen it, uh, I did enjoy this, uh, show, honestly. Um, first off, I gotta say that I loved the score for this. The Newton Brothers, uh, did, uh, the score for this, uh, show. Uh, they also did the score for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which I really loved the score to that. And here they also do a really great job. Especially with, uh, that sound you hear with it, where it sounds like a broken lullaby. And it, it's just eerie and creepy. It really works with it. And many other, uh, scenes off whether action or horror uh, they both do a great job composing it, because the score itself is really great with it. I love the score to this, and in general, I did like the soundtrack. We got some really great stuff, obviously, with Travis Scott's, um, Goosebumps and Kill Bill by, uh, Sia, I think so, yeah. Uh, even though both of those were in the credits, but still, I, I did enjoy uh, the soundtrack to this, even though at times I did feel it was used a little inappropriately at times, uh, particularly with emotional moments, which I don't really have any issue with doing as long as it's used right, and at the same time it is used right, but at the same time it isn't really, uh, but yeah, also slat, also, um, also the, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll get to him later, but, uh, the setup for this, uh, is really great, I loved uh, when they go into this house and then the following episodes of, uh, each four episodes, the first four episodes of this shows what happens after with, uh, the horror with it. And I liked how they really got into that, uh, particularly with, uh, something like the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, which I really liked the setup for and how it, um contributed with it later, um, and also with Go Eat Worms itself. I also liked how that was used, all of them. I thought they were really used goodly, uh, and I really liked the setup to it. Also, can I just say, Justin Long is just freaking amazing. I loved him in this. I love Justin Justin Long as an actor, and here he just brings his A-game. He is just so much fun to watch, and when he is possessed, he both gives off this menacing feeling, but also one that kind of makes you laugh. And especially, but even aside from that, especially when we get into the final episode, seeing more of his, him not being possessed, I really do love him, and I love his character so much. Also, the main, uh, the main characters themselves are really good. Um, I really like them. My personal favorite being Margo, and I, I, and they had a lot of great dynamics with them. Um, they, uh, were really well done, and they did give really well performances. Uh, they worked great off each other, whether with a dramatic moment or a comedic moment. They just really worked, uh, together. Um, 
What else is there? Um, uh, oh, yeah, okay. I, I just want to say this real quick, but uh, the cinematography itself, it, is, it really did remind me of a teen drama. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that. It's nothing really, but I just wanted to say that it, it looks like uh, something like that, but even then, it is well incorporated itself. Um, also, can I, also my personal favorite part of this show is by far the heart of it. I loved the heart of this show so much, especially in, uh, two episodes in particular, The Haunted Mask and Go Eat Worms. Uh, I thought they had really nice uses of heart, and they were really well done. A, a tiny thing I just gotta say is that the brother in, um, The Haunted Mask, he just never returns or is mentioned again. I just, it confuses me. But even with that, I did love the heart to them, and The Haunted Mask especially. And also, the more you go deeper into this, the more interesting it becomes. Uh, the mystery itself is really well done. It's re well revealed. Um, and I really liked it. But I, I need to say something. Slappy. I both, I really like Slappy in this show. But at the same time, um, okay, so first off with this design. So, the first show, with, with the original show itself, um... It's, it had a pretty messy design with bumps everywhere, and I actually do really like that. And then later in 2015 with uh, this movie with them right there, um, I kind of prefer that design, admittedly. I Maybe I'm just biased or basically nostalgia reasons, even though I hate that. But even then, I'm kind of a hypocrite with that. But, um, I mean... It's well done, but here, it's like they both, they, they did both of them, and it does work. It does work with uh, what it needs to do, but, um, it's not that amazing. I mean, it is creepy, but yeah, also, can I just say, just looking at the poster itself, it feels like an entirely different design. I, I, I don't know, it just, it just really confuses me itself. Uh, and also, I do love, uh, Slappy's backstory, especially when you get into the final episode, but even then, it just felt a little rushed, particularly in the final episode itself, where I kind of wish the final episode was a little bit longer, where we could cut back and forth to the present with, uh, the main story, and also a little bit of Slappy's, um, which I did wish there was a little more off, and a little more off the explained a bit, and I wish they did a little more with um, the payoff for this season, uh, but it does end on a pretty great note itself, which sets up for season two really well, and I'm really hoping it does get a season two whenever it can, because I really enjoyed uh, this season. Also, gonna, also, there is uh, some drama in this show that, uh, while I did like the heart with it and the dramatic elements, some of it was a little eh at times, honestly, but uh, it, it just, it, it didn't really, uh, it, I'm not trying to say hit on an emotional level, but um, it, um, it, it just didn't feel right, as in like, it just kind of felt rushed with it, they just felt added in, which I wish they did a little more off of, which I kind of wish at the same time they did more and less of it, it's, it's, confusing. Maybe it's not an issue, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, overall, I did enjoy this season off it. Uh, I think it was a pretty good start to it, and this may be the best one in the franchise, honestly, with heart, great characters, and some pretty great horror elements in it, that I really enjoyed this, and I am hoping for it to get a season two just for Justin Long himself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna give Goosebumps a B+. Plus. So those are my thoughts on Goosebumps. What did you think about this show? Did you love it, hate it, let's agree, disagree down below in the comments? Come on, tell me. My next review will be for the new Scott Pilgrim show, and then following that will be Hunger Games, and then after that, Rustin. So expect those right now. Uh, but anyways, that's it for me. Yeah, stay awesome.